Hi guys, Michelle here, welcome back to the channel. It has been a hot minute since I made a video, so we're gonna do a little makeup review on the new Ulta Epcot little set they made. Um, it is a Disney theme box. I have the one from last year too, which is Monsters Inc. and it's like Blue's Door, it's super cute. I'm gonna do videos on it too as well. Um, but look at that. Oh, Epcot, it's literally my favorite park. I love Epcot. Uh, comment down below which favorite parks, oh my God. So uh, let's just kind of just dive right on into this. Um, I'm getting new to makeup over the last like year. I've really been just like going full throttle, like finding myself makeup wise, trying new things, all that fun stuff. And it is so much fun. We love makeup, we love it. So let's go ahead and open her on up. And what's actually kind of cute, this little side thing, is that these parts here, you can actually move it to make it like, like a little purse. <gasps> so we can make it a purse. We can literally carry it around. We pop them off here. And then move that, pop that in. Oh. Yikes. Boom, we got a purse. And we all know your girl has a purse problem. I love purses. So this this is this is a yes. And this is only like what is it? It's 30 bucks. Retail about 125 for the value you get inside the box. And the makeup normally innies are really, really nice quality. So um, and then we have the silver hardware and the little charm to say Ulta Beauty. It's like the kind of retro little star shape. So let's just go ahead and unzip it. Oh. So we got a mirror in here, which is great. So this is great for a travel bag, you know, um, using it just as an actual purse, or just having as a makeup bag inside your house. Because there's a lot, so there's a lot of room for storage. First thing we have here, we have really nice okay, brush. The two brushes, like an eyeliner style one, regular eyeliner, and then what do we have here? Eyeshadow stick. Ooh. And what's something really, really cool, let's take the brushes out so you can see it. So something I really, oh. <laughs> the struggle is real. Something that's really cool is look at all the theming for all of the actual park icons. We have the Tree of Life. We have the Hot Tower of Terror. So if you look at reflection to reflection to reflection, we got the magic, we have the castle, we got Dumbo, we have the Epcot, and then, oh yeah, so it's really cool, it actually has the, the, you see the dragon, uh, which was supposed to be um, the part they added, that they were supposed to add for, for Animal Kingdom, but they decided to, um, they just didn't do it, it's a whole thing. Um, but they originally were going to add it to kind of like match the, you know, match the theme and why not match, but to be up to par slash like rival Alice Adventure Universal adding the Dueling Dragons, eventually their Harry Potter, that was going to be like their top contender to go against that stuff. But yeah, so that's really cool they have that. And then there's little things like that. So then we got Space Mountain. We got Space Mountain there. We have, let's see, that looks like it is, yep, it's a small world. And then those are the towers, um, the steps and stuff for Mexico, for Epcot. So everything has like a theme next to it. And then it even has like the, for the safari ride for uh, Kellen Jamara. All right, so we're just gonna go ahead and jump on into the makeup. I need like one of those like little things that go over, like to hold it. So we can just do this so I can be like, look at these things. Um, I literally have nothing on my face. I just think I still have like my moisturizer and stuff on and like my serums and stuff, but we're just kind of going for it. <laughs> <laughs> who needs a new phone i do i do all right so <laughs> i'll see myself out all right so let's go on in here so we have the makeup this looks like it's a blush set let's see we got yeah festival of the lion king peanut butter and jelly milkshake bubblegum wall it's a small world and this is a pierced face palette um those face powders so you can use that like, as a blush or even just as like different eyeshadow <laughs> as different eyeshadow tips and what we're gonna do, we're gonna do swatch test too soon as well. So let's go put that back. And we have a little eyeshadow kit as well too. Some really pretty, that blue though, we like that blue. That blue's really pretty. And these are just really, and usually these have a really good um, pigment too. So let's hope we still have that with this set too. All right, so we got Jungle Trek, Tomorrowland, Tough to Be a Bug, Tinkerbell, Trails, Purple Wall, Shimmer, Stardust, Hollywood Boulevard, and Frozen. I'm guessing Frozen's that blue. Yes, it is. Um, as you can tell, I used a little bit um, of the blue. I have already tested just a little bit as I was really curious and it is really, really nice. And then here this is, and this right here is for your eyebrows and more of the theming too. Oh my God. So we have, looks like it's, oh yeah. So we got Space Mountain, 
we have Paris for um, Epcot. And then that looks like that is Expedition Everest. And then we got, so we got brow wax, medium brown powder, and deep brown powder. We got some lip gloss here. Ooh, I like to apologize to anybody that has like a um, sensitivity to see in spots that make. Apologize in advance in case you have that phobia. So this is lip gloss, Animal Kingdom. And then we have Hollywood Studios. And we just have like a clear shimmery lip gloss here. Let's see what this is themed to. And it's listed as for Epcot. I apologize in advance for my nail. My nails are really bad. I, I'm so sorry. And then the last one here is this really pretty pink. And this one is themed to uh, Magic Kingdom. And it's like a sheer blue gloss. We have an eyeshadow primer with Tinkerbell on it. And then we have, with Mumir, we get a liquid blush. All right, so let's let's try some makeup. You guys ready? We're just gonna do some swatching. Okay, let's do this. All right, so first thing we have, we're gonna do some swatches. Let's go ahead and open. Ooh. All right, so let's go ahead and do some of the green. Got one little rub on there. That's what we got. See a little bit of it there. Go on to the third one, which is trails, which is this one right here. see a little bit on me and then next is it's tough to be a bug got there <laughs> I need more fingers <laughs> and go on to this one here which is Tomorrowland oh she had this backwards ha 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 Tomorrowland got that here I can see it. All right. And we're going to go on to this one right here. And we're just kind of stacking them on top of each other. Um, let's see. Oh, my skin tone. There we go. That's this one right here. Oh, don't come to me for my nails. All right. So we got the purple shimmer here. And let's go ahead and add it. Cool. Okay. And then we're going to go on to the silver one here. That one pulls up really nice on my skin tone. All right, and then this one that it was frozen. This one's really cute. Oh my god, my nails! I'm so sorry. And there's that one. Okay, so nicely pigmented. We like this. This is cute. It's simple. A lot of cool colors you can work with here. I'm a sucker for green, so we love green here on this channel. Green and orange is my favorite makeup. I like the apartment they live in Spooky Island. I try on these like blushes slash what's it say there? Uh, face palettes. But we're going to go with these more pink blushes. All right, so let's go ahead and dive on in. This one is Vessel of the Lion King. All right, and you know what we're going to do just to be silly? <laughs> do, do it on here. See what the actual look like on my skin. So that's two swatches of the Vessel of the Lion King. And then next we're going to go into, it's going to be the, should be the, uh, yeah, Peter Murray Jelly Milkshake. Yeah, PB&J Milkshake. And then next we have the Bubblegum Wall, which is right here. <laughs> and last but not least, it's a small world. Ooh, that one pulls up really nice. And everything feels really, really soft on. It's like velvet. I don't feel... I work, when I work, I do freight and I lift and I sweat constantly. And um, this right here feels really nice and which I'm a huge fan of. I want to feel good on my makeup um, only because when I wear it, I don't have time to practical fix this. I want to feel comfortable the entire day because I get really worried about heat situations. And this right here, um, <laughs> it's a reason silly. Um, pulls up pretty well on my skin tone and it feels really really nice and everything's just really smooth feeling um so 
We like this dude. This is a really fun set. Um, <laughs> the colors, dude. The colors. All right. So then we have is <laughs> oh, excuse for the dual ended shadow. So we have one side is the dull whip and frozen flamingo. Can you see it, guys? All right. So. Ooh, this one's the dull whip side. We're gonna go ahead and do it over here. So there's the dull whip. Um, you know what, just for giggles. Let's see that shimmer. This would be really good to put like in the creases or even just right under the eye. Um, always be careful though, you wanna get your eyes looks really uncomfortable, but yeah. There we go. Now we see that shimmer. And this is fun because it's dual one that we like this. Oh, this one is the Frozen Flamingo. Oh my. Okay, we like this one. Can you see it on my skin tone? We can. Same thing, feels really light, really creamy, but like not messy. It just goes exactly where I should put it at. And there's no fallout either. Um, really big. You can get a lot of really cool eyeshadows that are from all different companies or even the same companies and the fallout as a hit or miss depending um, on the way it's manufactured, on the way it's shipped to be honest. I have the Sailor Moon Color Pop uh, palette. I love the palette but the fallout is so bad but god the colors it's worth every moment of the fallout because the colors are that pretty. Um, but this here no real fallout. Nothing. There's no just debris. You know, like the breeze. <laughs> And even with this, like, this just feels really, really nice. And I feel really, it feels, like, soft. Like, like baby powder as soft, but not itchy. It's weird. I don't know. Yes, we like this. And like I said, really good for, like, the corner increases, like, here. Or even, like, right underneath the eye. Be really good. Or even doing, like, a wing with it. Be really pretty, too. Um, so we definitely got some options here. We can just try this just for giggles. So we can do, like, something like... And something just soft to have on. You know, it doesn't even have to be heavy. Just something soft. And even just putting it as a highlight too as well. Um, and you could, what I would recommend doing, doing this, this first and then doing something dark over, like, or right underneath it. Because you don't want to get the, get it all messed up with the other stuff. But, you know, or even just as a highlighter. You can see a little bit. Like I said, my skin is just like... This is no makeup. Mine's like we put on the other day. <laughs> yeah. Those are really, really pretty. And I have like a... My skin tone is very much warm and, and, and cool tones at the same time. I have an interesting skin tone just because it changes so much as um, the temperature changes or as... Because I live in Florida and I'm always overheating. Um, But yeah. So next we have is the eyeliner or brow liner, each or. It is, we have the brown and we have the black. So we're just going to, let's put it on over here. Ooh, that's really, <laughs> that's a lot brighter I thought it was going to be. That's nice. Same thing, really soft, really smooth, really, really light. And that's the uh, black here. And then that's the brown. Those are really, really nice too. Yeah, they look really nice. Um, but yeah, ours come sharpened too as well. But yeah, really, really soft. I, I, for 30 bucks, this is, <laughs> this is a steal. And then the brushes we have, it's like a little blush. Blush or for like setting powder. And then for the liner, and as well as just for the eyeshadow. <laughs> and this one for the eyeshadow. And so, last but not least. And then let's go ahead and go into the eyebrows. All right, so we gotta take the glasses off for this. Eyebrows, so we have the brow wax. I don't know how to use this stuff yet. I'm still trying to figure this out. So I guess we, we don't wanna really try it on per se. We'll see what the wax feels. Cause yeah, that's what you're using, it's gonna be on here. So just put a little bit on here, hope for the best. Then we're going to try out the medium brown powder. So 
I'm gonna try to just kind of make a <laughs> make a brow. Um, and just for giggles, let's just uh, let's give me some angry eyebrows, right? We we need some angry eyebrows. <laughs> we need emotions in these eyebrows. Yes, and I I haven't figured out how to do eyelashes yet. <laughs> I bet she wants to wear fake eyelashes, but it's a little hard because of my glasses. Um, because I'm afraid they're going to hit them. I got these fake contacts for my uh, Kakashi cosplay, and literally I can't get them in, so I feel like I'm going to do the same thing. I think I have this thing where I'm putting things in my eye. I do eyeliner, but like, just that. Just, sorry, I apologize if it triggers anything. So we do the brown on the one eyebrow, and then we're going to do the black on the other one. These eyebrows, do they have feelings yet? Do you have eyebrows with feelings yet? Tell me. Comment down below. Do you have emotions here? Are they angry emotions? I don't know. I, I'm probably doing this wrong, but you know what? It's all about just having fun, right? Makeup is about having fun and expressing yourself and, you know, feeling artistic. I'm feeling being artistic. Makeup is an art. We're gonna get these bad wishes going down. We're just... <laughs> Alright, so let's go ahead and do the deep brown there we go the deep brown oh let's just go ahead and add it in here um what's cool too is it works for a lot of tones too we were literally doing this together guys are you guys having fun i don't know what i'm doing but we're reviewing this palette together this whole box of awesomeness and having some motion eyebrows What is happening? Don't do what I do, people. I need anger. I'm gonna angle down. <laughs> just for showing you what it looks like just outside of that, we're gonna go ahead and just um, add it to my hand. We're gonna put it right here. That's the deep brown. And then this could be that light brown. So you can see it also just on my skin tone as well, right here. And that's just one. There we go. We have all sorts of fun colors. <laughs> Next we have, we have the liquid blush. All right, so just gonna push a little bit up here. Ooh. We have some here. We're gonna go ahead and just kind of add it. All right, so there's that. Feels really soft, so everything's still feeling really, really nice on. I just get that little subtle, just a little pink little hue. I kind of depend where I want to put my actual blush at. I've been doing a lot up here because I still wear a face mask, so like none of this gets seen. So, so I try to do stuff up here. All right, next we have is the eyeshadow primer. Miss Tinkerbell on it. You know, afraid this stuff's gonna fly out and attack. It feels like it's really thick in there. There we go. Got a little bit coming out. All right. Oh, <laughs> got some string action going on. So that's that. Um, this does feel a little oily, though. I'm not gonna lie. This feels. I don't know if all. I mean, some of them usually. Some of them feel. Like, but this feels like extra oily. Um, but it is giving me some coverage like i said i don't have any foundation on i have no concealer on it's just my natural face um outside of like me using my like daily serums and moisturizers and stuff but this is me with no makeup on or anything so we do got some really nice coverage um it's on it feels light enough but when i'm like putting it in and you know actually doing it it does feel really, really oily, but now if it's sitting, you know, physically touching it, it could be literally my skin and it, how it mixes together to be making it feel that way. Um, but it does come, it's very much, it's, 
the package would even go back to itself per se. Alright, so next we're going to the darkest. So we're gonna try this Epcot. Hello. It's not so bad. It has like this like vanilla like smell to it. This one's you have to like push in to turn and close. And I just like apologize if you have a phobia with the bubbles. They make I apologize. And that's that one. That's the Epcot. And this one is so I have my glasses on now. Magic Kingdom. No, my glasses on so I can physically see, guys. I can physically see. <laughs> Alright. And so this is that one here. We're gonna try splitting it up. And like these are gloss. And they're really shiny. Um, as all glosses, they always feel really not just some can be slimy, but it's really thick. Thick on my lips. And then here we have is the animal kingdom. It's like a pinkish brown. And then that one? Yeah, is this how it looks? All right, so I don't know if you can see this. You gotta push back in. Okay, so let's try this. So you guys can see it a little better. I apologize, my, my, I have a hot mess today. Right. Ooh, there we go, better? So you can see it here, that pink, that darker brown pink, and then that lighter pink there. I see the angles. Oh, don't mind the mess. Oh, I need to clean. But yeah. All right. So final, final thoughts on this whole, this whole thing. Um, got no crazy fallout. That's a win for one. Love the box it comes in. This is aesthetically pleasing to just a whole other level. Um, it's useful, <laughs> it's super cute, and it's a great storage facility. It's useful. Like you can use it as a purse as well as for your makeup. Um, yes, that's a win. Aesthetically pleasing and functional. We like this, yes. Um, second, eyeshadows. No real fallout. We like the eyeshadows. We like eyeshadow no fallout. It's easier for you to apply makeup for you to be on the go. We're about that life. Three, um, lip glosses, not really a fan of. Um, I'm still getting used to wearing them, it's just because me personally. If you like the lip gloss and you like, and you're okay with that feeling, more power to you. Me personally, I'm not a fan of the lip gloss. It is really, really pretty and aesthetically pleasing looking at it, but um, the top, I don't like. I can do the bottom, I can do the Epcot clear style with the shimmer. That one feels really light, so we're okay with that one. Uh, liquid blush. We can see it feels really, really soft on, feels comfortable. Uh, my skin feels soft with it on too. We like that. That's a win. Um, <laughs> let's see, five, right? Five? I don't even remember. The eyebrows. We have all the emotions. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm sure it looks nicer, but it feels really, really soft on, and we like being comfortable. So, eyeshadows are a win. The blush. Really soft, really nice. That was a win too. Eyeliner, also a win too. Feels really, really nice, really, really smooth, and did not hurt me when I put it on, which would be great for your eyes, obviously, because you want to make pretty things for your eyes. That sucks. All in all, for $30, worth every penny. Worth every single penny. If only just for the bag itself, it's worth it. <laughs> because typically, like, bags of this really nice quality, go for like 50 60 bucks so with that plus the makeup it's a win um so yes we are we are here for it got that um so let's just go over it for the beauty box itself it came with one eyeshadow palette one face palette one brow cheerio two sheer lip glosses two lip glosses one liquid blush one eyeshadow primer one dual ended eye eyeshadow stick one dual ended eyeliner, one blush brush, 
one eyeshadow brush and one brow brush all in all for 30 bucks at Ulta it's worth it so definitely if you get a chance to check it out definitely pick up one for yourself um this video's not sponsored this has already been purchased by me um and I just love makeup yay <laughs> I figured I was just appropriately for this too right we have our crazy Disney shirt on um Disney spooky t-shirt don't mind my hair I gave myself a mullet and um I still can't curl my hair to save my life and it's like a mullet mohawk at this point um and I don't know how to style it and I have all the stuff to do it I just I can't physically figure it out and then my hair color I don't even know what I'm even doing with it anymore but it's just here so we wear a hat until we know what we gotta do it for ourselves okay well thank you guys so much for stopping by hit <laughs> like subscribe so sorry for just the delay in making videos it has been a hot minute I have been kind of doing things on TikTok lately um and really haven't been focusing too hard on YouTube and I'm super sorry about that but um I'm slowly coming back into it even with retail chaos coming I appreciate you and I'm super sorry that I haven't been here for you um but we're trying to get back into the groove of doing things again and kind of finding ourselves happier uh, mentally um been challenging myself with some body dysmorphia issues and you know that's the whole thing but today we have fun with some makeup and that's what that's about so having fun and loving yourself as well. I hope you have an amazing holiday. It was extra spooky. And I'll see you in the next video. All right, bye.